Hello everyone, this is John and welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. And this product is a animal free milk. But it is milk? Real milk? I don't know what you would call this in the realm of dairy. But it's called Animal Free Dairy Milk. And this company is called Bored Cow. I'm going to try these three flavors. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Apparently what this is. Is a beverage that contains real whey. Whey protein. Which is what dairy is made of. But it is not made from an animal per se, it is made from bacteria, bacteria that create whey, um, and then the whey is mixed with other ingredients like water, melted dextrin, oils, and vanilla extracts and flavorings, and that's the ingredient list right there. It's not just a few things, there's a lot of things in there. But no cows were touched or harmed or really aggravated at all during the creation of this. It is lactose-free, animal-free, gluten-free, nut-free. Technically, it is dairy. If you are allergic to milk, you're allergic to this bored cow drink. Um... So without further ado, let's just crack them open and try them, starting with vanilla. Shake. Will it be white like milk? Let's find out. Got a clear cup so we can see what color it is. Well, it's like almost by skin tone. Which technically is white under certain guidelines. Um, but I would not consider this milk white. Let's give it a taste, see if it tastes like milk. It definitely smells like a vanilla flavored milk. Yeah, I wouldn't say it tastes like milk at all. It tastes like a protein shake. Yeah, it tastes like a drink you would get from like a health store or a bodybuilder store. It's really protein shaky. Well, we gotta keep going. Strawberry time. Will it be pink? Let's find out. That's the exact same color. Let's see that one. It does have a strawberry mix flavor smell. Like if you asked for some strawberry Nesquik and someone gave this to you, you'd be disappointed. It has a strawberry smell to it, and the flavor is kind of strawberry-y, but really it leaves a lot to the imagination. And lastly, chocolate. Maybe one of these will be good. Let's try it. Oh, this one actually does have a different color. Yeah, not that dark. Chocolate. It smells bad. 
Chocolate has a distinct smell. This does not smell like chocolate. Let's taste it. I don't know what that flavor is, but it is certainly not chocolate. Is there chocolate as an ingredient? There's alkalized cocoa in here. So there is some cocoa in here, but whatever else is going on here, it completely covers up masks or alters any flavor that might be deemed chocolatey. At least the color is better. Okay. Is it milk? I mean, with all the other fake milks out there, I guess technically you could potentially call this a milk. And technically it is dairy because if you're allergic to dairy, you cannot drink this. So it is dairy, it is milk. It's just not good. I would not put any of these in cereal to, to eat cereal. I guess the best one's probably vanilla. The chocolate was by far the worst, um, despite being the only one with an actual color change to signify that it is chocolate milk instead of vanilla milk. The strawberry one and the vanilla one are the exact same color. None of them are good. None of them are like gross tasting, like you're not going to spit it out. Uh, but if you're looking to like replace like a protein shake for your working out maybe it has 10 grams of protein um, there's some vitamin D some calcium potassium riboflavin vitamin A vitamin B12 interestingly that there's zero iron in any of it yeah no iron the chocolate has 11 grams of protein Interestingly, the strawberry one has less amount of calories, 130. The other two have 150. And it looks like it's because it's a reduced amount of sugar. This has 22 carbs, but zero sugars. 26 carbs, zero sugars. 27 carbs, zero sugars. Hmm. They're sweetened using stevia. Where does the carbs come from if not from sugars? Is there like a, a starch mixed in here? You know, a lot of these things I just don't know what they are, so potentially the starch in here give me carbs because there's no sugar added. Anyway, I wouldn't recommend this to anyone um, if you are trying to get dairy out of your diet certainly this is not for you um, if you're already drinking dairy I guess the only thing is these don't harm cows uh, so if you are vegetarian and you're against dairy in that sense maybe these are for you uh, but I do think there's better non-dairy options out there uh, than these for sure uh, got a big pack of these so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them since they are not good um, leave me a comment in the description below and what should I do with all these terrible milks anyway hope you enjoyed the video for the Bored Cow, a not good tasting alternative dairy milk. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.